Hi there, welcome to my channel. This is Dave from Mr. Dave Pizza. Um, so this weekend I got the opportunity to visit the 2024 Midwest Gaming Classic. Um, I had a lot of fun and uh, this is one of the biggest gaming conventions in the Midwest, probably the biggest. And they have about a thousand uh, retro gaming consoles, arcade cabinets, pinball machines, a gaming museum, uh, portable gaming consoles, talks, live music, a vendor hall. It was really a lot of fun. And uh, I made a little video about my journey there. I took the Amtrak there and uh, did a little video of the train travel and then the convention itself. So anyway, without further ado, I'll go ahead and get the video started. Hope you enjoy. Here we go. I'm in Chicago. <laughs> oh my gosh. Halfway to the Midwest Gaming Classic. Really excited. Gonna get some food, hang out for a little bit, and then I'll uh, hop on top of the Hiawatha. Here we go. Okay, the convention is starting. I'm gonna take a look at the game hall, see what kind of games there are. So they got some retro consoles set up here. It's kind of like a nice little intro there. A little showcase before the convention so I was able to watch that, watch some music. Get some of these consoles. Oh, nice. PlayStation. Just got the games ready to go. Got some older systems. This is really cool. Let's go back. Already got people playing. That's cool. Lots of pinball. Let's take a look at the pinball. Oh, got something going on here. I'm gonna not go there. Got some pinball here though. Looks like they're still kind of getting the machines set up. Some more machine systems over here. Some consoles. Yeah, so this is just a preview night, so we're still kind of setting everything up. But this is kind of cool. Toy Story 4. Probably gonna play some pinball. That's my main thing I'm interested in. Oh, cool, we got some racing games. Jaws, they said this is like a new pinball game, this Jaws pinball, there's a bunch of them. Venom, they've got new ones as well as, well as classes. Let's go over here. Oh, nice. That looks really cool. Oh, 
Ghostbusters machine. Oh yeah. Ghostbusters. Well, it's day two, got some breakfast, and it's uh, time for the convention again. Uh, the vendor hall will be open today, and I'll be checking out that. Got a couple games I'm going to try and trade, and uh, there should be some more games in the game hall. Um, I don't know how much I'm going to cover in the video. I'll just try and do a bunch of video and just show as much as possible. Um, might not be too organized, but you know, I'll do my best, and we're going to have some fun. Center. All right, here we go. Day two. We're at Midwest Gaming Classic in the vendor hall. Uh, this looks really cool so far. I tried to buy a t-shirt, but the line was like not even moving. So I don't know if I'm even gonna get one. But uh, yeah, they had some. So let's just take a look around and see what there is. This is probably gonna be a longer video, just because. There's so much here. This is really cool. Oh, look at this. Tecto One. I see the Batmobile up there too. This is really cool. I'm gonna come back and take a picture of this for sure. Let's get some Funko Pops. Let's see what kind of stuff they have here. Got some games on the other side there. Batmobile. Gaming apparel. Let's take a look. Oh, I, I like this Aperture Science shirt. Sure. Night Rider. Lots of plush. Oh, here's the games. Here, I got some games. Probably gonna come back to this real soon. Lots of Atari games. That was the main thing I was interested in was the old games. I haven't seen a lot of them yet, but I'm sure they're around. Oh, they got some food here, so that's good. I bought a Jersey Mike sub yesterday. It was like $15. Kind of regretted that, but that's okay. Got some more games here. Let's take a look. $5 each. Some DS games, some Wii games, Nintendo Power. Here's the Nintendo games. I'm going for the Nintendo games as soon as I find them. There's trading cards. from Seattle here. Got the wrestling set up over there. Everybody's, people are still kind of setting up a little bit, but most of it's ready to go.
nice. Old games there. Let's see what's up here. That's the NES games. I'm also interested in the uh, NES games. Let's see. Cool bags here. My parents actually live um, in Michigan. They live about like halfway up the road. And um, they have one thing I would sell to PlayStation Vita. I don't need it. Like I never use it. A lot of swords here. Artwork. This is the artist alley. It's all like artwork. Some cool stuff here. Some plush. Some plush game cubes. That's really cool. my preliminary uh, walk through gonna do some shopping and see if I can find anything and I'll let you know all right so we're back in the game hall and it's quite a bit more set up now there's a lot of signs and banners and a lot more games and it's really happening in here uh, <laughs> Almost every machine is taken, but that's okay. Uh, I'm just gonna kind of wander around and find one. I head over to Classic Games here, Classic Pinball. I was hoping there's some ski ball, but I don't think there is, but that's okay. But uh, yeah, I uh, did some shopping in the vendor hall. Also got myself a hat. So I'll be uh, talking about that a little later. Oh, look at all these people. This is awesome. Hey, right. so yeah, I tried to play this Ghostbusters game yesterday, but it broke. I was playing it, but uh, that's okay. I'll play some pinball, and I'll talk to you later. at the Third Street Market Hall near the Convention Center and I just got the hot Cheeto Mac. This place is really cool. It's got some retro vibes and uh, really looking forward to this meal. Alright, this looks really amazing and I got some root beer too. So here we go. Bon Appetit. So here's the uh, Third Street Market Hall. 
can't really capture how much stuff there is here, but it's pretty cool. Lots of stuff. So I just discovered there's like a whole new floor of stuff. Like, what you can just hear some pong. I can't really play that by myself, but man, so much cool stuff at this convention. There's like some uh, lectures, and I guess there's like some kind of uh, modders, portable modders floor or room. So, I'm gonna look around and see what I can find. Here's the console maker space. We got like some portable consoles. Kinds of stuff. There's like Nintendo 64 portables, GameCube. It's a huge Game Boy Advance. <laughs> Someone's playing it. Some workshops. Xbox 360, some micro consoles. Nintendo actually has a booth here. Supposedly there's a World of Nintendo booth or museum or something somewhere, so I'm gonna track that down. Got some lightsaber fighters. Yeah, it looks like they're practicing or learning. There's just some kind of like board games down here. People playing board games. The line is huge. People waiting forever to get tickets. But luckily I have mine already. I still can't find the world in Nintendo. I'm about ready to give up, but that's okay. There was a Nintendo booth, so that's fine by me. Okay, so I'm taking a little break from the convention. It was getting really crowded and kind of hot in there, and I just wanted to lay down for a little bit because my feet were hurting. But um, I did end up doing a trade. I got I traded my Godzilla Unleashed game for Super Mario Brothers Duck Hunt and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles for NES, and then I also got a pretty good deal on uh, Super Mario Brothers Three with the uh, manual so that was kind of cool. It was actually cheaper than some of the kind of more junky ones I was seeing. Um, also got a controller for my Hyperkin NES. It's actually just an NES controller but I got a light gun for the Duck Hunt so yeah gonna head back over um, I'm not sure how much more I have to cover, but I'll just do some general video of the convention and then I'll wrap it up. Just a look at some more of those Funko Pops from earlier. This one's kind of cool. Got some kind of like games here. Lots of board games. Lots of board games. So a bunch of people got these mystery boxes. 20 items or 250 plus. Amazon value. I'm not gonna get one, but looks kind of cool. I wouldn't mind knowing what's inside some of these. Just some more footage of the uh, vendor hall. Just bought a Thwomp pillow. I'll show you in a little bit. But, uh, yeah, really good vendor hall. Lots of cool stuff. Okay, so now it's really crazy in here. 
there's just people everywhere. I don't even know if there's any games you can play off the sea. But, uh, yeah. Pretty popular event. pretty much wraps up my coverage of the 2024 Midwest Gaming Classic. I really had a lot of fun. Um, this was my first gaming convention and um, I learned a lot from it. Uh, one of the most interesting things I found about it was just how passionate people were about the games and uh, it kind of made me more interested in retro gaming uh, just based on the fact that people were so into it and obviously derived a lot of joy from the games and um it was really fun i i enjoyed the vendor hall quite a bit i enjoyed seeing all the stuff for sale and um the pinball is pretty fun i didn't play as many games as i thought i would but it wasn't really like the top thing it wasn't the only thing you had to do there so there's a lot to do and uh yeah i I enjoyed Milwaukee, Wisconsin as well. Uh, this is my first time here, and it was really interesting to see what it was like. And hopefully I'll have some more videos like this in the future and um, maybe go to some more conventions and maybe do some more traveling. And, yeah, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching this. hope you enjoyed my coverage. Uh, leave a comment below if you thought anything was interesting about it in particular or... If you were there at the convention, what did you see, and are you going to go next year? Uh, yeah, let me know, and uh, would appreciate any likes on the video. If you want to subscribe for future gaming content, be sure to do that. And thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, and since I said I would share it, here's the Thwomp plush that I bought. I bought this in the vendor hall. I thought it was pretty cool. Thank you.